Salutations on the Knights of the Blood of the Table. My name is Sir Hamzala, and okay, you're probably seeing the video a little confused. Like, sorry, blood, and you already. Why is this a part two? <laughs> well, the reason why is because, well, if you guys saw my last video of me unboxing an amazing Atari deal, that's literally the title of the video. You would know that I really couldn't get this thing hooked up to my TV because I was um, trying to figure it out and all that jazz, but. I figured it out finally. Turns out, well, I, ha I had a bubble TV trying to figure that out, plugged it into the coaxial. I know why it didn't work. You're not supposed to plug it into the coaxial. You're supposed to plug it in to an RF adapter. Which value me my modern TV has, so I got the bubble TV out of here. However, there was one piece I was missing that I didn't have. Now, I tried ordering it. This game, this piece was a pain in the mother freaking butt. Like, legitimately. Like, my, mo my mom and I ordered it from Amazon. It was five, it was only five dollars. The piece is microscopically small. So microscopically, microscopically small that, I can't even say the word again, that they lost the package. So we had to cancel that order. So then, we a week and a half Two weeks later, we try. We my dad tries ordering it from Walmart, from Walmart, same same price, five dollars, and well, and it was supposed to be here the twenty third, but as you can see, it's the thirteenth, and got it. All right, so let's unbox this Atari. Okay, so I got the camera off the tripod. Now let me move some controllers here. Might as well give you guys an action cam of the plug cam. Of, might as well give you guys an action plug cam. Or actually, let's call that a maximum fire hazard action cam. Because <laughs> honestly, dang, that is a serious fire hazard. So, can you see where that? All right. Um, let me move box two of my AV setup real quick. Um, yeah, that'll do. So, this part right here is where we screw this in. Now, I should probably turn off my, my system so I don't get electric shock. Probably a good idea. Let's screw this in. Now, I screw it into this thing because that's the RF adapter and there's a little needle. Can you guys see that? Yeah, there's a little needle within this, this, this coaxial thingy. So, yeah. Let's screw it in there. And I'm doing this right. Um, am I doing this right? <laughs> if I'm doing this right. My hands are really sweaty. I'm under pressure. A lot of pressure here. Jesus. That in there? I honestly can't tell. And my dad's... I want to ask my dad for help with this, but his hands are like a baseball mitt. A baseball mitt. So I can't really ask for him for help. Plus he's... He's worked for three nights in a row. He's tired as hell. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. My bad. Censor that. Well, I don't know if I knew how. Oops. Anyway, so yeah, I think that's in there. Let's put this on let's put this camera back on the tripod. Alright, let's bend the camera down a little bit. There we are, so I can turn on the Let me just see if it's plugged in. Yes, I am in my pajamas, don't judge me. So I plugged in, or turned back on the power strips. Let's unplug the Atari, just in case. So I don't get shocked, just in case. Let's move this extra long cable to back. Over. 
<laughs> Can you guys see what I'm doing? There's the cable, which I need for the Atari. Plug it into. Let's see if it works. with the DV off the thing. I guess that's it. Playing the Atari. Alright. Let's get you guys to a more well on foot level, like on on the ground level, and see if this works. So, I got a game here, Space Invaders. I mean, it is one of the most classic arcade games ever. First, let's unwind the controller. I should probably unwind the controller. Let's just... Man, these controllers for cords are short. I think this is like the Magnavox Odyssey, where you have to play on the ground or something. We'll do some rearranging later. Before we turn on the Atari, might have to turn on the TV. <laughs> and let's set it to TV. I think it's in all the way, but let's change it from HDMI to TV. Um, not sure what that means, but let's turn it on, see if it works. Um, please run channel auto scan. Hang on a minute. Okay, so my, t my TV has to go through this channel auto scan, which means it has to find the channel that works with the Atari. So. I mean, there's two channel settings on the Atari. It says channel 3 and channel 4. But once this works, I'll give you an update. Hopefully. Okay, so, I ran it a second time. This is the second time I ran it. Apparently I was supposed to turn on the console, but... As you can see... One channel has been found. So we'll just give this a quick run by and we'll see if it works. I'll see you at the end. Alright. Job done. Moment of truth. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It's found the channel, so. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh. I think it's working. I don't know if it's working or not. It's not on fire or anything. But, at least I know the visuals work. Well, it works. Okay. Now, give me a minute. For those who think this video is over, we're just testing out the Atari and seeing if it worked, if that piece worked, you are far from right. Now, now, now that we got, now, now that I know that the Atari works, there's just a few other games that are, well, needless to say, they don't have labels on them. Like, not even front labels on them. So, we're going to test these out one by one and see which ones they are. Be right back. Probably. 
Okay, this is kind of a take two moment because none of the cartridges seem to be working. But now that I spray them with my industrial strength spray can cleaner thingy, multi-picture purpose duster, let's see if it works now. Take two. Try it on and let's see what we get. Okay, this is getting annoying. Wait, we got some. And we get. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, this is getting annoying now. Okay, so. I can tell to my parents, and. Some of. The, it turns out that five of the six. Well, cartridges work. Well, don't work. And. This unlabeled one, I still don't know what the game is. It does work. So now, it turns out, well, with, I guess with age, I should have known this, with age, some of the cartridges don't work as well as they used to and are worn down. So, I'm gonna have to look through, I'm gonna have to sort through all the Atari games and see which ones work, see which ones don't work. This obviously does. I'll be back momentarily. So, I literally reviewed and made sure every game worked, and out of all 60 of them that worked, well, let me just show you. The ones on the hand, on the, on the, let's just say, the ones on the foot of my bed are the ones that don't work, and the ones on the head of my bed are the ones that do work. Major contrast here. These all don't work. Like, they're either graphics cards are either messing up or they just won't turn on. This is my phone. I'm listening to the music while I did that. And all that are games that do work. Look at my major downgrade. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna call this video here. Let me tilt the camera back up actually. I think I'm gonna call this video here, guys. Um, I have a lot of organizing left to do, and I'm getting tired. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video of me working working on my Atari again, honestly, could you enjoy this? I mean, did you? Let me know in the comments below. Did you actually enjoy this video? If you did, drop a like, like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. Give the subscribe button, the snizzity smack, and I'll see you the night in the next video, dude. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs>